All right, guys. Obviously, uh, Penn State played better than we did today. Uh, no question about that. I thought that uh, we had our opportunities in that game. Um, we had our opportunities to make some plays, and we didn't make it. And uh, in that kind of game, as we said earlier, we need to make those plays. Um, you know, started early you know, with one of the one of our plays. We had a, a wide cross, and there was no one within 15 yards of that guy. Those are the kind of plays that have to be made. We're playing some young players. Uh, we're growing, um, you know. And uh, you know, I thought our kids had a great week of preparation. I think they worked hard. I think they had the right mindset. Uh, we just got to improve in some areas. Uh, on defense, we got to get off the field. We've had now a few days, a few games in a row where we've on third down. We got to get off the field. We just got to get off the field. Third and eleven. Third and fourteen. Third and thirteen. You know, we've got to get off the field so we don't play in the long field all day. Football's a field position game. It's a momentum game. And in the early in that game, we were starting drives on the 7, the 10. And, uh, you know, you start to, you, you know, you don't want to do that. That's, that's a tough way to, on the road to make a living. Um, on offense, we got to throw and catch better. You know, we try to throw the ball more. Um, and uh, but we, 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 we miss some opportunities. Sometimes when you throw the ball more and you don't, you don't, you don't throw and catch properly, you know, you're behind the clock now, you're second and ten. And, you know, that's the liability of all that stuff. But we made our mind up going into that game that we were going to try to be more balanced. We are going to take our shots. We did it. We did that. But when we did, we missed on the plays that were there to be made. We missed on them. I don't know how many yards that equated to, but I think a fair amount. I think a fair amount. It's a beautiful streak ball that Chris threw down the sideline. That was right on the money. So... Uh, we'll go back, we'll watch that film, and uh, you know, we'll just keep getting better. We'll just keep working. We've got a young football team right now. And uh, we've got a bunch of young players, especially uh, some of those balls being thrown down the field were two true freshmen or richer freshmen. And uh, we just got to learn how to make those plays in a tough environment on the road. And, uh, and that's, that's, that's what's at hand. Um, I'm anxious to watch the film. I'm actually anxious to, to, to teach off that tape. Uh, we've got two more weeks. You know, We have another bye week. We needed the last one. Uh, this one, you know, we need to play. So we're going to have to figure out how to, you know, scrimmage or whatever we're going to do. Because we've got to keep developing the team and uh, get ready for conference play. So with that, any questions you guys have, I'm happy to answer. Steve, it seems like you have six seniors on defense, but some of the younger guys are the ones that are playing well. Whether it's Roby, who's a sophomore, Trayvon Young gets the pick, he's a freshman. Nate Smith is a redshirt freshman. Yep. You need to see more out of the seniors. Your best players got to play their best. We said that going into this game. The best play, our best players have to play their best. You know, I'm, I'm, it's hard for me to tell you, look in the eye and say I can tell you exactly who did or who did not. I, I know that we do have a, a lot of young players on the field, and uh, you know that's 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 good for our future. Um, but there's also uh, you know on both sides of the ball with the number of young players on the field, some of the things that are happening out there are going to happen. And uh, we're trying to get that team as developed as quickly as we can right now. Um, so you know, it's all part of it. But uh, the older guys, yeah, I mean, we've got to watch the tape and see how well some of these older guys played. Um, they're all good kids, man. They're working hard. Uh, they really are. Um, I thought they really prepared hard for this game. And uh, so we just got to keep, we got to keep, I told them in there, hey, We've got to be steady in the boat. We've got to keep preparing. We've got to keep grinding. We've got to keep developing. That's what it is. It's a week-in, week-out deal. And, uh, you know, and, and as we improve and as we grow, um, you know, we're going to get better and better. You know, I, like, I still like the fight in our team. I like the competitiveness. Uh, I don't see any look of anything other than just determination out there. And those are all really positive, good things. And, uh, you know, it doesn't always go your way at the right time, but I think if you keep working, I think those things will come back around. Right before the half, yeah. uh, you had the ball inside, starting on the five. You decided to run three times, yeah. make them burn their timeouts. Did you read well, that? yeah, you know, I mean, we, we, we talked about it, you know. Um, we kind of were worried about turning the ball over down there, you know. We kind of wanted to try to get out of that half. It was right in between that, you know, do you take a shot, throwing that thing. Do you, there's a lot of pressure coming at us down there, you know. We've got, you know, got a lot of young offensive linemen, you know, or do you try to see if you can pop a run. Take that clock down, play some defense, get out of dodge. Okay, and we chose that route. And you know, obviously, you know, with the benefit of hindsight, you know, maybe you wish you, you know, we, 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 you know, maybe threw a, 
you know, a play action pass in there or something. But that's that's just not me. That's me. Um, I thought maybe we could pop one of those, and, and we didn't. You know. Steve, <clears throat> towards the end of the third quarter, Juice was warming up in the sidelines, and I thought he was probably going to come in in the fourth. Did you think about bringing him in, and and why did you stick with Coy? Well, I just felt that you know. You know, we're, we're in the third game of the year here. You know, I wanted to see Chris pull through that thing a little bit, you know. And uh, I think, you know, he had that drive where he showed me a little, real, you know, a, a real strong run that I've been waiting to see, you know. Um, and he uh, showed me that. You know, so I've got to evaluate the tape. I certainly have a lot of faith in Juice, I'll tell you that right now. Um, so. We got to get, we got to get production. We got to play hard, and we just got to go. But Chris did some good things in that game. You know, he did some real good things in that game. We got to, we got to throw and catch better. We just got to throw and catch better, man. We got to make the plays in the throw game. People want to just keep pressure like that. We had, we had prepared really hard on the quick game, and you know, uh, taking our shots down the field. And we just didn't connect on them. I mean, we had a lot of quick games that were dropped, and uh, you know, those things turn your momentum. You know, and I, I was, we were committed to doing that. You know. You didn't see a bunch of real hard eye formation runs downhill, which you've seen out of us a lot. You know, it's a few, but not a ton. We had the one there, like Montel, and we had a holding penalty going in. I mean, you know, so it's just, uh, you just got to keep working, uh, work in progress. Uh, I think we came out of this pretty healthy. That's a real positive. You know, this, you know, hopefully we can have our team intact when we start practice this week. Last week we didn't get our team intact until um, Monday in the second week. We did get intact then, but it wasn't until that Monday. So now maybe we get it intact, and we have two weeks intact. And, uh, so, you know, I like our kids. I like our team. I do. And I, and I like the young players that we have. It's my job. It's our job as a staff to, you know, build it. We've got to build it. I knew that. And that's, and that's what we have to do right now. And we will. So you talked about the wide cross. Was that the one where Blue 